We all are fear to something. Are you ready to go through your worst fears like a flashback in this video? Okay, I guess you are stronger than others. But let's see how strong you are when you meet these top 10 fears or phobias of your life. Don't worry, they are in the video, they can't come out. But after watching this video, check perfectly around you because you never know when and from where they can pop out. Let's meet them. Number 1. Ophidiophobia. The fear of snakes or ophidiophobia is the second most common zoophobia affecting nearly one-third road of the adult human population. Like the phobia mentioned below, the fear of snakes also has evolutionary roots. To an extent, the fear of venomous snakes is also essential for survival. Extreme ophidiophobia can affect one's life as one tends to avoid hiking, camping and related activities or might even become afraid of pet store snakes and other reptiles. Some suggest that since snakes are sometimes poisonous, our ancestors who avoided such dangers were more likely to survive and pass down their genes. Another theory suggests that the fear of snakes and similar animals might arise out an inherent fear of disease and contamination. Studies have shown that these animals tend to provoke a disgust response, which might explain why snake phobias are so common yet people tend not to exhibit similar phobias of dangerous animals such as lions or bears. Number 2. Aerophobia. Aerophobia, or the fear of flying, affects between 10% and 40% of US adults despite the fact that airplane accidents are actually very uncommon. Around one out of every three people have some level of fear of flying. Some of the common symptoms associated with this phobia include trembling, rapid heartbeat, and feeling disoriented. The fear of flying sometimes causes people to avoid flying altogether. It is often treated using exposure therapy, in which the client is gradually and progressively introduced to flying. The individual may start by simply imagining themselves on a plane before slowly working up to actually sitting on a plane and finally sitting through a flight. Aerophobia is the fear of flying which affects nearly 6.5% of the world's population. The phobia is usually associated with other fears including fear of being unable to escape called agoraphobia and fear of small and restricted spaces called claustrophobia. Naturally, the fear affects the person's professional and personal life as air travel is nearly impossible for him, her. The mere thought of an upcoming flight can cause intense distress in the sufferer including nausea, panic attacks. Number 3. Arachnophobia. Nearly 30.5% of arachnophobia sufferers are living in the United States alone. This is the excessive fear of spiders or other arachnids like scorpions it is one of the most common animal phobias around the world. The cause of the phobia is often evolutionary meaning that some species of spiders are deadly and it is a natural human response to survive. Arachnophobia however tend to go to extreme lengths to ensure that their surroundings are free from spiders often causing themselves a great deal of embarrassment, which is something most phobic try hard to avoid. The sight of a spider can trigger a fear response, but in some cases, simply an image of an arachnid or the thought of a spider can lead to feelings of overwhelming fear and panic. So why are so many people terrified of arachnids? While there are an estimated 35,000 different spider species, only around a dozen pose any type of real threat to humans. One of the most common explanations for this and similar animal phobias is that such creatures once posed a considerable threat to our ancestors who lacked the medical know-how and technological tools to address injuries from animals and insects. As a result, evolution contributed to a predisposition to fear these creatures. Number 4. Astrophobia. Astrophobia is a fear of thunder and lightning. People with this phobia experience overwhelming feelings of fear when they encounter such weather-related phenomena. Symptoms of astrophobia are often similar to those of other phobias and include shaking, rapid heart rate, and increased respiration. During a thunder or lightning storm, people with this disorder may go to great lengths to take shelter or hide from the weather event such as hiding in bed under the covers or even ducking inside a closet or bathroom. People with this phobia also tend to develop an excessive preoccupation with the weather. They may spend a great deal of time each day tracking the local and national weather in order to know when any type of storm might take place. In some instances, this phobia may even lead to agoraphobia in which people are so afraid of encountering lightning or thunder that they are unable to leave their homes. The crackling of thunder and lightning can lead to a heart-pounding, sweaty palm meltdown for individuals with severe weather phobia. In fact, 
Some even pack up and move to regions known for calm weather, according to John Westerfeld of the University of Iowa. Number 5. Nyctophobia. For many kids, lights out can mean immediate distress that the boogeyman, or some variation, will pop out from beneath the bed or behind a closet door. In fact, being afraid of the dark is one of kids' most common fears. What always amazes us are the thoughts or beliefs that kids have, said Thomas Ollendick, kids believe everything imaginable, that in the dark robbers might come or they could get kidnapped, or someone might come and take their toys away. Essentially, their fears stem from, the unexpected, he said. While kids grow out of such fears, if the anxiety reaches extreme levels and is considered a phobia, called nyctophobia, Ollendick says that can last through adulthood if left untreated. Number 6. Monophobia. Monophobia is the phobia of being alone. To an extent, it is understandable. After all, we are social animals, meaning that we are supposed to be surrounded by other humans. In fact, if we don't interact with other people on a regular basis, that has serious consequences for our personal well-being, so much so that loneliness has been compared to obesity as well as smoking. With that said, people with monophobia take this to an excess, which can make even common tasks such as eating and sleeping a serious hassle for them as well as their loved ones. Number 7. Social Phobia. Sometimes called social anxiety disorder, social phobia is when someone has an irrational fear of being judged, rejected, and otherwise evaluated in a negative manner. Due to this, people with this issue tend to avoid social situation, which tends to make their social life much, much worse. It is common for people to confuse social phobia with shyness, but social phobia is a much stronger problem, so much so that people who suffer from it can't get a handle on it in the same way that someone can overcome their shyness. Number 8. Mysophobia. Mysophobia is the excessive fear of germs and dirt. People who suffer from this phobia can engage in extreme cleaning, compulsive hand washing, and avoid things or situations that they think might be dirty. In some cases, this phobia may be related to obsessive-compulsive disorder. The unhealthy fear of germs causes the phobics to also fear contamination of food or exposure to bodily fluids from those around them. Mysophobia might lead to many complications since the person goes to extreme lengths to avoid all kinds of social situations. Isolation is a common symptom of this phobia. The condition might also give rise to other phobias such as agoraphobia as well as various anxiety disorders. This common phobia can also result in people avoiding physical contact with other people out of fear of contamination, overuse of disinfectants, and excessive preoccupation with media reports about illness outbreaks. People with this phobia may also avoid areas where germs are more likely to be present such as doctors' offices, airplanes, schools, and pharmacies. We can clearly connect this with COVID-19. Number 9. Trypanophobia. Trypanophobia is the fear of injections, a condition that can sometimes cause people to avoid medical treatments and doctors. Like many phobias, this fear often goes untreated because people avoid the triggering object and situation. Estimates suggest that as many as 20% to 30% of adults are affected by this type of phobia. When people with this phobia do have to have an injection, they may experience feelings of extreme dread and elevated heart rate leading up to the procedure. Some people even pass out during the injection. 10. Agoraphobia. Agoraphobia involves a fear of being alone in a situation or place where escape may be difficult. This type of phobia may include the fear of crowded areas, open spaces, or situations that are likely to trigger a panic attack. People will begin avoiding these trigger events, sometimes to the point that they cease leaving their home entirely. Approximately one-third of people with panic disorder develop agoraphobia. Agoraphobia usually develops sometime between late adolescence and mid-30s. Two-thirds of people with agoraphobia are women. The disorder often begins as a spontaneous and unexpected panic attack, which then leads to anxiety over the possibility of another attack happening. While it is generally understood to be a fear of open spaces, agoraphobia is a much more complex fear. It is a serious anxiety disorder that can trap people in their homes or make leading a normal life next to impossible. So that's all for today and hope you liked this video. Thank you for watching if you have any questions please comment below and I will answer them in the next video. Also don't forget to subscribe us and tap the bell icon to get notified with every new upload of us.